Hello friends, I want to talk to you today about comfort. What does comfort mean? You know, I didn't really know how, how do I explain to somebody what comfort means. So I went to the dictionary and the dictionary says this, number one, physical ease. So when somebody feels physically at ease, but then there is number two, and number two says freedom from pain or freedom from restraint. Comfort. We all look for comfort. We seek it. We work for it because we like to be comfortable. It's interesting that in, um, in the book of 2 Corinthians, the Bible talks about God as being a God of comfort. Actually, Paul says that God is a father of compassion. That means that he is able to feel with those who are in pain, to uh, feel with those who are um, going through some difficulties. He's a father of compassion and a God of comfort. And uh, verse 3, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 says that God comforts us in our troubles. It doesn't say that we will not have troubles, but that God comforts us in our troubles. And we are called also to comfort those who are going to, uh, through troubles uh, themselves. So friends, today, can you be a channel of God's comfort to somebody around you? The Bible says that we comfort those, we are called to comfort those who need comfort with the same comfort that we have received from God. God promises that He will always be with you. And God gives you this hope of, and the hope of eternal life. And my challenge for you today, my invitation for you, is that you will find someone today that you can comfort with the comfort that you have received from God. May God bless you and may God show you opportunities to practice this and to, uh, to share comfort and hope with somebody around you. Thank you so much for joining me once again today. I enjoy these um, daffodils um, and maybe we'll talk about some of these daffodils later on, some other time. Again, uh, thank you for watching and may God bless you and may God bless your family as well.